Oh dear. Looks pretty nice outside, except for the grey sky in the distance. Dawn's on me, so I can't play. Uh, never gonna play at this rate. Deja vu. Deja vu. We've been here before. And don't laugh at the way I wear my sunglasses. Wear them over my glasses. I think it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, we're going shopping today. Another shopping day. They had issues apparently with trips not being right time. <laughs> Anyway, so apparently church was not uh, what they thought it was going to be today. It was supposed to be uh, fifth Sunday, so it was combined service, but it wasn't. So they came home, and mom wants to go shopping, so we're gonna go shopping. Yay! Eh, hey, mama! <laughs> you licked the glass. <laughs> Don't you know where that thing? Yeah, in my driveway. And under birds. Oh. God. <laughs> you like that germ sensitive? I'm not gonna lick the outer glass of my car. <laughs> Loosen up. <laughs> Gosh. But it's dirty. You You're can clearly tight. see it. It's dirty. It's dusty. It's not dirty. Dirty. Nature. <laughs> So you're gonna go around looking bird poo, is that it? Bird poo on my glass. I'm being nasty. Are you sad that I'm not finding anything in JCPenney? Like literally finding nothing? Come on. Yeah, look. Oh. Not me! Nummy, nummy. Mama wants this. Smart at the sewing. It's sold already though. They've adopted an accent all of a sudden. Orn. <laughs> Not like you show up often. <laughs> It's supposed to be about me. It's <laughs> supposed to be my daily vlog, but you're in it, so. Ma. Frill. What was I thinking? SpongeBob matters. <laughs> you never see it. What's the point? <laughs> ball with that. With that? Yeah. If my room were big enough, we could get everything but the bed under it. I could get up to my bed. I could have a little space underneath my bed. It's got a little desk over here, so all I need is a seat. Mm-hmm. I could use it from the other side. And? Maybe. And it's got steps up to the bunk. And drawers on the steps. You can turn that inward. 
I imagine. Be awesome. And I wouldn't need this bed underneath, oh. I'd just need this. Yeah, this is just sitting on it. Yeah, so, turn that around. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, wood? <laughs> Nothing there. Wow. That would be perfect. It's not a bunk there. It works. Ugh. Yeah, that would work great. Comfy? <laughs> you don't look comfy. Oh, that's an ugly bed frame. Probably not, but... Yeah, that bed would be awesome. It's a big mirror. Oh, Sixty-six by ninety. That's bigger than a queen size bed. The queen is a sixty by eighty. Well, there's no missing anything this in this is a mirror. Sixty-six by ninety. It's bigger than a bed. Oh, like it. Where would I hang it? I don't know. <gasps> I might just lean up against the wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I don't know if the wall could handle a mirror that big. Well, if they handle that TV, it's like, the well, TV I don't know. is this is the TV is on a mirror. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's in bevel. It's eight hundred dollars. No, take half off this price. It's so it's four hundred dollars. Mm. <coughs> see Dad now. What the hell are you gonna do with that thing? You'll Don't be lucky if you can get it in the door. But I like <laughs> big mirrors. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Hey, you're by the front door. People walk in. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I like that. I don't know. I've always liked big mirrors. That, that is a big mirror. Oh, we need to get it fixed. Yay, weather. Starting to like it's gonna rain. Yay. Thank you. We got the you wanna leave me with Uh no. <laughs> so before I do much else, I figure I'd do a little sort of a book review for a uh, manga series that I read called NG Life. Now, this is actually a pretty good series. It's fairly new. Um, it's only gotten up to volume 8. I have number 7 here. Just got it today. And it's uh, about a group of characters. Mainly this character here. Who, uh, you know, thousands of years ago they were they, thousands of years ago, they were citizens of Pompeii, and they were there, they were there and died the day that, uh, that, uh, Pompeii erupted. Mount Vesuvius, I mean, Mount Vesuvius erupted. So, uh, you know, thousands of years later, he's been reborn as a new person in Japan, but he can remember all of his memories. And he, he sees all these people he recognizes throughout his life uh, as people from his past. Such as his father was a rival, his mother was his sister, his uh, new best friend. Well, his best friend was uh, originally a, 
a, a guy he knew back in Pompeii, who was also his best friend. But he has a new friend now who... Uh, I should I should probably clarify. His best friend from Pompeii was a guy. Thousands of years later, he's reincarnated as a girl who has no memories of Pompeii, but she's very open to his sharing them with her. And uh, the new guy that moved next to him uh, used to be his wife thousands of years ago, but now he is a man. So it's a little it's it's a little weird at first, but it's very very. What am I looking? For? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's creative and different, and hence why I like it. I mean, you have reincarnation, you have uh, lost memories. Uh, memories that are, uh, you know, still in place, but slowly disintegrating. You know, there's, uh, it's very interesting to see how it goes, because he's torn between his best friend and uh, his uh, new friend, where his new friend looks like his wife, and he's constantly going on about how much he loves his wife, and how he'll never cheat her, even in, uh, years later. And how he doesn't want to be with his best friend, but his best friend's a girl and he likes him. So, yeah. It's a good story. Romantic comedy. Check it out the next time you're in the bookstore. Read volume one. It is hilarious. I, sh I highly recommend it. For now, my camera's about to die, so I will talk to you later. Hopefully. And that's all for now. So, bye!